Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back once again. I am here to talk wrestling and I am here to talk about why the WWE title build is one of the worst in Royal Rumble history. One of the worst in recent Royal Rumble history, excuse me. But first, before I get into that, I'd like to ask you to like this video for your boy. And also, I have some news of my own. I will be doing my first podcast this Friday. It is called The Two Sweet Wrestling Podcast. The first episode will be this Friday. It will be on the Anchor app. You can download that app. I will have it on many, many platforms. Many platforms you'll be able to listen to. I have all the details. And I will definitely be posting it on YouTube as well. But I definitely recommend you get the Anchor app. They have a cool call-in feature that you could use. You could be a part of the podcast as well. So, let's stay on topic here. Get back to the topic. The WWE title build. We have Kane versus Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar. And, oh, man. This is not... Well, I'm not going to say this is quite not what I imagined it to be because I imagined it to be bad, but, geez, not this bad. On the recent episode of Raw, Brock Lesnar came down with Paul Heyman. Brock Lesnar bounced around, and I don't know what it is about Paul Heyman. He's, his delivery is still there. And you know, this is one of my reasons as well as to why I don't like this build. His delivery is still there, but he's on autopilot. Like, he's saying the same things, and it's just not interesting anymore. Like, and if you think I'm being tough on Paul Heyman, just go back to the promo where Paul Heyman gave the I, play, I Pledge Allegiance to C Nation. That promo was fiery, great, intense. And the promos against Roman Reigns as he built that first matchup with Brock Lesnar up. Those were fantastic when he talked about Roman Reigns' family. All great. It's just now that he's on autopilot, the reigning, defending, undisputed, and the, I guess the, the live crowd likes it, but it is just repetitive, and we're just in the same old thing. And speaking of the same old thing, Brock Lesnar, we have him going up against Braun Strowman and Kane. Look, at the end of the day, we have Kane, who came down, interrupted Paul Heyman and Braun Strowman, Excuse me, Paul Heyman and Brock Lesnar goes to show you how little I care about this feud. He came down, he choked Slim Brock Lesnar, Brock Lesnar set up. That was pretty funny. He set up like the Undertaker. I gotta admit it, I laughed when I saw that. But it was such a weak segment. And from there, we had a little dust up. Brock Lesnar closes Kane, closed lines Kane over the top rope, and that's it. We have people run down, and that's it. That was a horrible segment. And it comes down to this. Kane in 2018 is in a main event at the second biggest pay-per-view of them all. Nothing against Kane, but we cannot be having that. And on the other side of the coin, we have Braun Strowman. Braun Strowman is over like Rover. The crowd loves this guy. But we've seen Braun Strowman versus Brock Lesnar already. And it was one of the most pitiful matches of last year. It ended in a weak F5, one F5, and that was it. So, there's nothing intriguing about this matchup to where you can sell it to me. And tell me that, okay... I'm, I'm pretty sure Brock Lesnar is going to win this match, but I'm intrigued by this. We had that with Brock Lesnar and Braun Strowman heading into the match. We had that with Brock Lesnar and Samoa Joe. We had that with Brock Lesnar versus Samoa Joe versus Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns at SummerSlam. They were intriguing heading into the match. I see no intrigue at all heading into this match at the Royal Rumble, and it is going to suffer. Look, we're going to have some big man spots. They're going to do some entertaining things. But I just don't find it to be an intriguing match. And I'm not looking forward to it in any way. We're just on the road to Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns. We're just trying to... We, this is the latest vehicle to drive us to that. And not to give away what I'm going to talk about on my podcast coming this Friday. But 
this Roman Reigns Brock Lesnar thing is really hurting the roster. And it's coming shining through with this match at the Royal Rumble. So I'm not interested at in what they're trying to sell me here. Paul, Ed, Paul Heyman is trying to sell a match, but he, he's repetitive. Kane is in a match in 2018, a, a title match. And I'm not interested, and it's hurting WWE, and it's hurting the, the value of the Royal Rumble as well. Look, I'll give it a chance, but if we stay on the same path that we're on, and if we're just in the beginning of January, if this pans out throughout the course of the month that the build stays this way, and I'm pretty sure Brock Lesnar is not going to be on every war or every raw heading into the Royal Rumble, so it's going to be a lot of Kane and Braun Strowman or Braun Strowman and Paul Heyman. So I just can't get into it. I'm going to give it a chance. I'm going to give it a chance, but I'm expecting the worst, and I'll just hope for the best. Maybe we get. A spot where we get excited for the build and a spot where we get excited during the match then Brock Lesnar wins of course so that's my thoughts on that it's very annoying and it's very boring we have Brock Lesnar I mean we're just waiting for Brock Lesnar and Roman Reigns to be honest so we're on the road to WrestleMania I'm excited about that much I am excited about the Royal Rumble and if I could get over this cold which I can sure you can tell by the voice that I have right now. I'm very excited to watch. I'm very excited to watch SmackDown tonight to see what they bring to the table. And it'll be interesting. Raw was not interesting last night. But I'll be interested to see how it goes down next week. And how this build goes down next week. That is it for this video. Check out the podcast this Friday. The 2 2 wrestling podcast you can download the anchor app all you have to type in is two sweet wrestling pod and it should pop right up i don't have any episodes on it yet but all you have to do is hit the star button and hit the follow button and follow me it will excuse me and favorite me and it, you will be favored and followed onto my page check it out i'll have a whole lot more details coming up throughout the week Thank you very much.